Okay, so today I'm going to explain a quick uh, introduction to how to use um, Quantum GIS with uh, QGIS Cloud. And this is an add in for Quantum GIS uh, so that you can uh, basically upload the information from your maps that you make um, onto a um, kind of a cloud service that then allows you to publish those maps as um, as a web map service. And so I'm just going to go through and explain the uh, kind of the basics of how to use this system and with this example data that I have uh, from the state of Puebla. Um, so first of all, uh, Quantum GIS or QGIS Cloud is a it's just a plugin that you can download for Quantum GIS. It can be found in the kind of manage plugins area. And so um, after you install it, it will show up in your lower left hand corner, uh, kind of like this. And um, so you can basically you could just um, sign it, sign up for a, uh, a username and password. And then once you get that, then you can log in. Basically, once logged in, you can start to upload the data that you have. So, uh, make sure to press this button that says replace local layers in the project, and then uh, press upload data. And then we'll kind of go through a uh, kind of a, a process of looking at your data and then making sure that it uh, fits with their uh, geometry and everything like that, and then it just um, it starts to upload it to their, um, their cloud service. So I have one polygon layer and one point layer that I'm uh, loading up, and then once it is done loading, then it replaces the those layers that you have on your map um, with the layers that are in the cloud. Then it will come up with this window saying that the project is ready for publishing and ask you if you want to save your changes. Say yes. Um, and you'll see that I also have this physical layer as my kind of like base layer for this map. And um, when I press publish map, and that Google layer will also load into the web map. So now that I have the data, I'll, uh, I'll upload it. I'll press publish map. And it uh, comes up with this window saying that success successfully published. And so then you go to services. And from here, you'll see a link that goes directly to um, the uh, web page uh, for your web map. So you can click that link, and it'll automatically open uh, kind of like a QGIS Cloud website that will have your data on it. And so it just opens up as this really fast and snappy web map and you can then use and then you can share this uh, 
the URL for this web map to a lot to everyone. And you can see that it um, it loads up the and I'll have on, on the left hand side it'll have a map layers section and it shows you the different layers that you've loaded up. And you can zoom in on the different layers. And it loads really quite quick. And then you can also press this, uh, the press and open up the attribute information for the different layers. So you can click on the points, and then it will bring up the um, attribute table for the to those points. Where you click on these polygons. I'll bring up the attribute table uh, for those various polygons. And uh, the other nice thing that it just comes prepackaged with is that you can do um, just measuring distances right out of the box. And you'll see on the, the bottom down here is where the, the distance measurement is, is coming up. You can also do measuring of areas. So quickly, right out of the box, this um, web map is really easy to use um, and really can uh, provide some like a, a nice way to share your maps um, with other people very quickly. The other awesome thing is that it's completely free. So. Um, it, is a, it is a free subscription. There is no fees or anything like that. Um, yeah, so this is uh, this is their connect with the web service here. Um, and also, if you go into QGIS Cloud, um, you can see uh, you can also go to your maps and manage the different web maps that you have. You can edit them, or you can uh, delete them, and, and there's also a whole ton of other user-generated maps on the QGIS Cloud website. So you can look and, and find other maps that maybe other people have made or shared with you. So this has been a quick demonstration of how to use QGIS Cloud, and I hope it will be useful to many of you in the future.